off of what a guy tells you. I don't care. If he says the sky is blue, you got to check to see the sky is blue. Because these dudes be lying they ass off. And don't say, oh, well, sis, like, he introduced me to his mama. So what? He introduced you to his mama because she was in the kitchen when he walked, you know, you through the house. So he had to say something. Friends, so number one, 10 things to avoid during your 20s, okay? Number one is extremely important. Serious relationships. Let me just say, do not get too invested, okay, in a relationship, especially when you're entering your 20s, like 20, 21, 22. Um, there's nothing wrong with a relationship, but just always be mentally prepared, like, what if this doesn't work, okay? You, want, you don't want to be those girls that they spend their whole relationship with a man, and by the time they get 28, 29... You know, he says, oh, I don't want to be with you no more. And then you find out, you know, he broke up with you. And three months later, he's engaged to someone else. I can't blame him. I got to blame you. Never put all your eggs in one basket in one relationship. Never think that, you know, because of something is going good, it's going to last forever. Baby girl, nothing lasts forever. And I wish somebody would have told me that. Okay, so serious relationships is a no-no. You can be in a relationship. I'm not saying go ahead and cheat, but what I'm saying is that don't have in your mind, yeah, we're going to be together forever. Comment below if you ever been in a relationship and said, oh my God, like this is going to be my husband. We're going to get married, have kids. You know how many relationships I had and I thought the same way and now I can't stand them? Half of them, I got them blocked. Okay, because like I said, there's nothing wrong with being in a serious relationship, but just make sure if you are taking him serious and you do see marriage in your future, make sure, sis, he feel the same way about you because guys will, will lead you on if you let them, okay? <coughs> Damn, that's a joke. Number two, 10 things to avoid during your 20s. Number two goes hand in hand with number one. This is something I spent my whole 20s doing and I freaking regret it. Number two is situationships. Comment below if you've been there. Situationships. What I mean by that is you never physically been in a relationship with a guy, but you you find yourself being in situations where you're dating a guy or you're talking to a guy for a long time, but it really goes nowhere. Yeah, cut that out because a guy knows if he want to be with you or not. Stop entertaining men that's not, you know, serious about you, that just want to sleep with you. That's something that you want to avoid doing in your 20s because by the time you're 30... You're going to be like me. You're going to be like, damn, I wasted all my time, you know, in drama. Like, comment below if this happens to you where, because this is what happens when you're in a situationship. You think you're talking to a guy, you guys are about to get into a relationship. Then some other girl comes to you as a woman. Another girl comes to you as a woman. Now you're all fighting for this guy. And then, okay, all, and then, and then he end up going Choosing a girl over you or vice versa. He may he might choose you, but then you're spending your whole talking situationship defending y'all situationship. It's like one big confusion, okay? One big love triangle. I feel like I was in about two or three situationships where for some reason guys think, you know, when they meet me, it's say side chick or something, okay? I would literally, I was so naive, and that's something in my 20s that I'm so happy I got out of that. Um, naive stage in my life for some reason when you're younger I don't know why we are like this we just get so naive but I used to believe whatever a dude told me if he tells me listen I want you I want to be with you don't listen to what these bitches got to say then guess what I'm not listening to what these bitches got to say because I want him and I'm with him I'm not with y'all my loyalty is to him not y'all so I don't care what y'all say but that was so that was so ignorant and stupid of me like ladies especially in your 20s don't ever take a guy's word for it. I didn't even put that in, in my list, but this is something very important. In your 20s, don't fall for what a guy tells you. I don't care. If he says the sky is blue, you got to check to see the sky is blue. Because these dudes be lying they ass off. And don't say, oh, well, sis, like, he introduced me to his mama. So what? He introduced you to his mama because she was in the kitchen when he walked, you know, you through the house. So he had to say something. <laughs> he had to introduce you. Don't. Take what a guy can give you with a grain of salt. If he said, listen, I don't let nobody, I don't introduce nobody to my mama, I let, and, and my mama met you, that don't mean nothing because guess what? Mamas be covering for their son, okay? They're not loyal to you. Understand, his family, his sisters may F with you, they may like you, but behind your back, he's bringing other chicks in the crib and they're not going to tell you. So you got to be very smart, ladies. Be very smart. I don't care how much you like a guy. Don't believe everything a guy tells you because I did that in my 20s and it got me nowhere. It got me in nothing but full of situationships and drama, okay? That's very important. Can't trust that enough. 
Situationships is a no-no. It's either you guys dating or not dating. And you don't want the role of a side chick. If a guy, if, if too many girls like the same guy, sis, take a trash bag, throw the whole dude away, and let her have him. Okay? Your peace is your peace and happiness is way more it's, it's better okay it's better to have peace and happiness than to be with a guy that every single day of your life is some drama it's you get on social media another dm from another girl it's not worth it you see it play out with celebrities all the time okay all these situations just the drama you can avoid a lot by just knowing your worth and just be patient and waiting for the right man i don't care how much you like someone if he's putting through all this drama and all the girls coming to you as a woman, he may not feel the same way like you feel about him. Take a child back, throw the whole dude away, okay? Let's move on to number three. Ten things you should avoid doing in your 20s, ladies. Number three is very important, very important okay? Listen up, because this was me. You will lose a lot of friendships you thought will last forever, okay? Um, between 20 to 25, let me just say, you're going to lose a lot of friends. Um, there's been, I have so many, whew, I could do a story time. I have so many best friends, so many friends in my life that I thought when I entered my twenties, like, wow, we're going to grow old together. We're going to have kids together. I'm going to be the godmother of your kid and you're going to be the godmother of my kid. And oh my gosh. And then next, you know it, they switch up, but it's okay. Don't cry over those friendships. Those friendships were not for you. Let God put the people that needs to be in life. He's going to keep them in your life. The people that don't need to be in your life, God will remove. And don't chase after these friends that God removed. So many times in my 20s, especially from 24 to 27, so from 24 to 26, I had a best friend that I thought would be, she was, she was my ride or die. I thought we was going to be best friends forever. She was a Scorpio. I was a Cancer. And I'm not really into um, astrology like that, but they always say Scorpio and Cancers get along as friendships. It's like a bond that's unspoken. And it's the same for relationships. And it's so true. That was my first Scorpio best friend. And she, it's like we under, we both were water signs. We, it's like we understood each other. I cried on her shoulders. She cried with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was our relationship... No, if someone would have told me we would not be friends anymore, I'd be like, I don't know what you're saying. You're, you're, you're blocked. Like, what? What do you mean? We had this type of relationship. Like, I would say, like, you see how Kylie and Jordan were so, so close that it shook the world when they stopped talking because of what happened. It was the same thing with me and her. After her, I said, I don't want, it was almost like being in a relationship. I said, after her, I don't want no more friends. And guess what? I've been happy ever since. Um, I noticed I when I had a group of friends, it was always freaking drama. Comment below if that's you. It was always drama. And then, you know, she stopped hanging out with me, started hanging out with other girls that I wasn't cool with, which, you know, caused beef between us. And I'm at an age now where 30 just feels like a fresh start, a new beginning. You know, don't cry over friends that leave your life. Don't chase after friends that was fake to you. And because you kind of miss them, you know, you tolerate certain stuff and because you want them to be in your life. I reached, after we had our first fallout, we probably, um, I went back to the friendship like two or three times until we finally called it quits. And I was like, damn, I wasted like four years going back and forth, being friends with someone that wasn't no longer for me. And I don't wish her bad or nothing. Sometimes you got to love people from a distance and love yourself more, period. Okay, let's move on to number four, 10 things you should avoid during your 20s. Okay, number four is... Oh my God, this is something that I wish I would have learned and somebody would have told me when I was in my 20s, especially my early 20s. So I took for granted that I was skinny on my life. You guys see how Sweetie's built? Like she's very slim, it's curvy. When I was um, in high school, during all my life, I was so slim. By the time I turned 23 or 24, my metabolism slowed all the way down. And the things I used to get away with eating and not gaining weight, I was eating and gaining weight. You don't want to be 28, 29, and now you done got to 200 pounds, 250 pounds, and you hate yourself. Take your eating habits serious. Take your fitness serious. I cannot stress this enough. Do 30 minutes of um, workout four times a day. I mean, I said four times a day. Four times a week, work out 30 minutes, eat a lot of foods, eat a lot of vegetables. A lot of you said, oh my God, I can't believe you're 30. You look like you're 24. It's water. I drink a lot of water. I drink a gallon of water a day. Stay F-boy free, okay? And if you're struggling with losing weight, I can't stress this enough. I tell you guys this all the time. I wish I could sit up to straighten my waist. Drink Ayaso tea. The link will be in my bio. This is not about the tea, but I just, I just want to let you guys know. 
if he's struggling to lose weight, you lose five pounds in five days. Once you see the weight coming off, it's going to keep you to stay on your weight loss journey. Also, you got to eat right and work out and you, the weight is going to come off, off of you in less than a month. I promise you. The link will be in the bio. But like I said, this video is not about the tea. That's just what I use all the time. But like I was saying, avoid eating bad. Because the things like you, you could get away with when you're in your early 20s is going to catch up to you when you're 25. Um, then you're going to be really depressed. The only reason why I look so young is because I slimmed all the way down. If I was 50 pounds heavier, I definitely would look my age. If you look at my older videos, I look like I was 29 turning 30. Okay? Um, and then you feel so much good about, so much better about yourself. So now when you're in your 30s, you can still wear cute crop tops. You can still look, you know, like you 23, 24. But if you have bad eating habits and you're around people that eat bad, you know what I'm saying? You don't work out. You're eating McDonald's every day. Your kitty cat not going to smell good. And you're just going to have a low self-esteem because you're just going to be like a nutty professor. When you could have avoided it by eating clean from your 20s. So when the time you're in your 30s, you look better than all your friends in high school that's washed up that didn't take their health, health serious. I'm just saying. Okay? Very important, ladies. Let's move on to number five. Ten things you should avoid during your 20s. Okay, is the, is the lighting okay? Okay, so number five is, sis, don't stress yourself out about getting your life together. You will be in your 20s only one time, okay? And that's something I cannot stress enough. When I was in my early 20s, from 20 to 25, I was really depressed because I was working at Red Lobster and um, I just felt like it was no way out. I was miserable in that job and I had just dropped out of college because I couldn't afford it. I no longer was eligible for financial aid because my mom made so much. And she didn't have the money, but she made so much. But in reality, she didn't make enough because, you know, she couldn't really help me pay for school. I had to drop out. But I didn't really want to go back to school anyways because I was sitting in class and like, this is not what I want to do. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to follow my dreams. So I say that to say this, okay? Follow your dreams in your 20s. Follow your goals. If you want to be an actress, you want to be a model, you want to be a rapper, do all of that in your 20s. You don't want to be in your 30s just not putting your foot in the door, okay? Just not getting your foot in the door. Don't listen to what no one says. I don't care if you don't have money or not. Follow your passion. The money will come after. I went, um, at 25, I, I took YouTube seriously and, you know, I quit my job at Red Lobster. I moved back with my mom. I moved in with her. I was broke as hell. But I just love saying, hey, you two, hey, Bella Gay, welcome back to my channel. I just found joy in it. And guess what? The first two years of YouTube, I didn't get paid a dollar, but I loved it. And I kept filming it. And I knew that God would allow me to make money following my passion. I just knew it. And by the third year, you know, like in my rap, from waitress to YouTuber, within a year, I made six figures. I wasn't just talking. I wasn't just writing that just to write. It's real life. Let me, let my success story be a testimony to you. If it can happen for me, it can happen for you. Okay, you want to be a YouTuber, go ahead and do it. It's not going to be easy. It's not easy to get views and stuff. But if you stick through it, you're going to get paid. You're going to do what you're going to get paid doing what you love. Okay, and the support will be there. You're going to see support from strangers more than your family. But don't let your mom tell you you need to be in nursing when damn well you want to be a dancer. Go ahead and do it in your 20s. Or you're going to spend your 30s and 40s looking at everybody living out their dreams and being a hater. Don't be a hater. It could have been you. But you let other people influence you to not follow your dreams. Sorry about that, best friends. My camera cut off and I nearly got a heart attack because I thought that it deleted the first half of the video. But anyways, let's move on to number six. Ten things to avoid during your 20s. Number six, very important, ladies, okay? Extremely important. Number six is save your money. This is very important. When I used to um, work my nine to five, and I, I, I worked like probably like 10 or 15 jobs. And let me say, I was always broke. You know why? Because I would get paid every week, but I get paid and I just spend it. Spend it on sneakers, makeup, clothes. Oh, I asked my friends, do they want to go out? You want to go to the club? Let's go. Spent like $100, $200, you know, in one day. And I'm like, I used to have the mentality like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get paid. I get paid every week. So I'm going to get paid on Thursday. It's okay if I suffer for the for two or three days before I get paid. No, that's the wrong mentality to have. You always need to have money. Save your money. Your money is your safety blanket. Okay? If you like me where you came from from nothing and you're, you had a single mom growing up, you didn't have a two-parent household, and money was always an issue and you grew up struggling like I did, it's very important that you save your money because 
We don't got this. I don't have. I wasn't. I. I didn't. I wasn't raised with a silver spoon in my mouth. Okay. My mom barely made it. It was four kids. So whatever I made, I had to rely on that to buy me shoes, clothes, to eat for the week. My mom did the best she can. But like, you know, we're putting food on the table, clothes on our back, but all the extra stuff. If I wanted to get my lashes done or hair done or extra stuff, that was on me. I was working at a young age from like 12 years old. You're not even supposed to work at 12, but I was working like off the books, you know, selling candy door to door or whatever. I was always a hustler, always have that hustle mentality and always have that mentality that no one owes you nothing. Don't rely on nobody for shit. Don't rely on men for nothing. Make your own money, save your own money. You can start by saving like 20 or $40, put it away. When I used to work, because I know a lot of you guys are going to say, it's easy for you to say because you're a YouTuber, you guys make money. No, no, no. Even before I became a YouTuber, I started taking saving money seriously probably when I was like 25, 26, when I was a waitress. If I would make like $150, I would take the $50 and save it. And when you're a waitress, a good thing about that, you can walk into, to, you can walk in with a dollar in your pocket and leave home with two, three hundred dollars because you make a lot of good tips. So what I would do is, I would, like I said, I would make, if I make a hundred or two hundred and fifty, whatever, all the extras I always save in, in the envelope. And next thing you know, I know it, within like three, four months, I save five thousand. Then I was able to save, you know, ten thousand dollars. You know, you have to start somewhere, even if you have five hundred dollars in the bank. Always. Put it in the back of your head. If I go broke, nobody can help me. Because, like I said, if you was raised with a parent that was struggling, okay, you don't want, because it's very easy to repeat generational curses, okay? For some reason, you know, it was very hard for my mom to save, save money, very hard for my sister to save money. And I said, you know what? I don't want that to be me. It's, it, you know, I don't want it to be me. Because, like I said, if I go broke, I literally can't rely on nobody. If I can't pay my rent, I'm going to be out on the street because my mom's not going to give me, you know, uh, $800 at the time when I was living. I was living in another apartment. It was like, Eight hundred dollars at a time. She's not gonna give it to me, so I was saved. And now that you know, now that I'm thirty, I have a good amount of savings where I can live comfortably. There's no better feeling than living comfortably, knowing that it's your money, not nobody else's money. Okay, so that's very important. Save your money. Let's move on to number seven. Ten things you should avoid doing in your twenty shot. Okay, number seven is don't do anything. This is very important. Hold on, let me move this camera. Don't do anything in your 20s that you're going to regret later on in life. Now, first of all, for some reason, when we're in our 20s, that's when we are the most rebellious we've ever been. You want to get tattoos, piercing. You want to do, you know, and there's nothing wrong with getting tattoos, nothing wrong with getting piercings. But just make sure if you do get a tattoo in your 20s, I didn't even put this on the list. If you do get a tattoo in your 20s, don't get no eggplant emoji right here. You know, don't get nothing too sexual because you don't know who you're going to be in life. You could end up being the president's wife and people's going to drag you for that. Okay. If you got a boyfriend, whatever y'all do in, in the bedroom needs to stay in the bedroom. Don't let him film you, record you because when you break up, guess who's Punani is going to be all over the internet. Guess who's kitty cat? Yo kitty cat. And you got nobody to blame but yourself. Even when you feel like you can trust a guy, you still can't trust these dudes. You can't. All right, if a guy said send you a picture, if you want to send a nude, I don't think you should send a nude, but at least don't have your face in it, okay? No face, no case. If you have a, if you have a tattoo that everybody knows you have a tattoo, you know, hide the tattoo if you're going to send a picture, which I don't feel like you should, but if you go ahead and do it anyway, make sure that your face is not showing. Cause I, and I feel like it's a turn off. Like, if we together, don't ask me to send no naked picture of you. You won't see me in person when we do the zoo. Why you want me to send it? So you can show all your friends? I don't put nothing past nobody, and neither should you, okay? Also, during my 20s, in the beginning of my 20s, I did a whole bunch. I did, like, 20 or 30 music videos because I thought I was going to get discovered. You know, because as you guys know, I'm a rapper. So I'm like, if I'm around rappers, I can get discovered. But I was doing it for free and shaking my ass for free. And I, I look at these videos now like, damn, I look... Oh, like it makes me cringe. Like, girl, why did you do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, ill. And you know, luckily, I didn't do any like nude scenes. I do have a little few photo shoots that's probably out there that probably will come out one day. I don't know, but I'm the type of person like I really don't care because I just feel like um, I just feel like you know it is what it is. But I'm just letting you guys know that. You know, just be very careful about what you choose to do, especially if you, when you're in your 20s, that's when we low on cash. That's when you're like, you know, you're in college, you don't have money like that. So if a guy tells you, hey, you want to pose nude, I'll give you $500. You want to do a little, uh, I'm not going to say the word, but you want to make a little S tape. 
you know, for $400, $500, that seems like so much money to you. But no, that video is going to carry you through life. Make sure that you think very hard, long and hard about what you choose to do in your 20s because it will haunt you later on in life. Very important. Let's move on to number eight. Ten things you should avoid doing in your 20s, ladies. Number eight is stay focused, okay? Very important. Don't get caught up in the party life. When I was in my early 20s, I was partying all the time. I really didn't have my priorities together. I just felt like I had all the time in the world to get my shit together. And next year, I woke up and I was 27 working as a waitress at Red Lobster. Once again, there's no problem doing that. But I knew that I wanted more out of life. I knew that, damn, like, wait, I want to do my music. I want to be a YouTuber. So I had to really, like, buckle down and cut all the fun stuff off and focus. If you can balance it, the party life and then you know chasing your degree if you're in college do that but don't let your grades slip up because your education nobody can take your education from you your education is very important um i myself i'm trying to go back to school for business um just just because i just felt like having a degree you know for some reason i just always just want to have i always want to have a bachelor's or master's just to have i just feel a little bit incomplete um now that i i'm living my dream i do feel like you know, I need to be more educated on a lot of things. And, I, and I'm the type of person, I'm not, I don't have a know-it-all know attitude. I like to research. I like to be more educated on things I don't know about. It's never wrong to go back to school, no matter what age you are, by the way. But like I said, just stay focused because you don't want to be 30, like me, now having to go back to school when I could have been graduated when I was in my 20s. I mean, the only reason why I didn't graduate, like I said, is because for financial reasons. But if I had to do it all over again, I would have just... Finish school. I only had like one semester left. Now that I have the money to do it, I'm, I'm probably going to go back to school. I'm going to see. But it's very important. Stay focused. You don't want to end up in your 30s and you're just now doing what these young girls is doing in their 20s. Okay? Let's move on to um, number nine. Number nine, I'm just going to break it to you. I'm just going to say it like this. Don't do no drugs. A lot of you guys say you look young for, I look young for 30. Guess what? I, the weed, okay? There's nothing wrong with weed, but don't do it too much. Don't do it too much. Your lips is going to turn purple. You're going to look washed out. You ever, you ever see girls, you ever hang out with some per, certain people, and they have to smoke weed, they have to smoke, and after a while, they look smoked out, they smell like weed, they look older than what they are. You don't want that to be you. Don't be popping pills, you know, and if you drink, because I, I end up drinking at a young age and develop, like, I feel like I was addicted to alcohol. Like, three months straight, I remember drinking alcohol. When I first moved here, I drank every single day, and I knew it was a problem. And because I was drinking so much, that's a lot of sugar, that's when I gained my 190 pounds. I was 190 pounds, the most I ever weighed. So if you just, if you're gonna, I feel like you shouldn't do drugs, but if you want to, you can smoke weed here and there, you can drink here and there, but don't pop pills, don't do heroin, don't do crack, don't sniff nothing. If you're around friends that that's all they do, please take your trash back and throw those friends away because they're gonna lead you into a life of back and forth into rehab. You're gonna, your whole, you, you're gonna go from a woman with a promising future to a girl begging for change at the subway station. I don't wanna see my best friends but beg it to change to nobody, okay? Because your life can go from being successful one minute to downhill. It's, it's happening with celebrities. There's some of my favorite celebrities. There was one of the, I forgot her name. I don't want to put her name out there. I don't want me to talk about her, but there was one of the celebrities. I, she used to be in a sitcom and she turned into a crackhead and now people is always taking videos of her in the street, acting for money, doing things, strange, strange things for a little bit of change. And because it took one boyfriend that she had that made her strung out. And then she just said F her career because sometimes we, some alcohols are, I said alcohol, some drugs are so addictive that you don't care about losing it all for that addiction. It's, it's crazy. So I'm telling you right now, ladies, very important. Don't, don't, get, don't get caught up with the drug life. It's okay to have a sip of wine here or there. But if you want friends, they always want to drink. Those are not your friends. Do you want to have liver damage? You want to live a long time? You want to have any health problems? Don't do drugs, period. Okay, now let's move on to our 10th and final thing. I hope this video wasn't too long, but I felt like it was very important for me to say this. Number 10 is don't rush to have kids. Ladies, very important. Do not rush to have kids. Um, my sister had my niece at 19. She doesn't say, but I know she had, she has to do it all over again. She would definitely have kids later on in life because kids is a 24 seven, um, job and big ups to her. Like she, you know, was a single mom and luckily she had, all help from my mom from all of our you know all of us to help 
it takes a village to raise a kid but imagine you don't have the support at home you 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 have and, and the, the guy that you're pregnant by he's an f boy he's not gonna help you your life is gonna be harder than what it is you know make sure when you have a kid um that, that the guy wants the child too and he wants to you guys eventually want to get married have a stable life even if you don't want to get married you want to bring a child in this world with two parents take it from me someone who's only raised by my mom i struggled my mom was on welfare we struggled but then my dad was in my life even though he came out of my life my dad came out like 21 22 whatever even though you know i felt like if he was in my life I wouldn't have to struggle so much. I wouldn't, you know, I have to go hungry sometimes. So just think, think twice before you have a kid with someone. I know sometimes you be so in love with a dude and it's like, it's like a good feeling. Like, oh my God, I want to have his daddy one day. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, if you, if you're the type of person, you always want to have kids young, do it. Do what makes you happy. I mean, I, I remember Cardi B said in an interview when she was like starting in a game, she said she want to have a baby young and Ebro was like, nah, you should like wait. She's like, no, I want to have a baby. I always want to have a baby young. And it worked out for her. She's married, whatever. But it's not like that for everybody. So that's why I say be very careful about having kids and who you have kids with. You don't want to be going back and forth with a, with, with a dude with a deadbeat, you know? And that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you guys like this. 10 things you should avoid doing in your 20s. I love you, Bella Gang, so much. If you guys like this video, give it a big, juicy like, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. I love you. Until next time, Bella Gang or no game, period. Bye.